well now here this is uh, uh, dirt glued on uh, and then everything is sprayed with white I mean these this looks kind of like real stones the color of real stones but they it all started like this and then I'll go and I'll use uh, I usually use a, a, about six or seven different acrylic uh, hobby uh, colors thin and I'll start with the lightest and I'll get a little bit darker and they're all di different shades of gray and brown uh, yellowish brown, reddish brown, grayish brown, greenish brown, etc. Uh, and that's how I r arrive on this and what's nice is there's no uh, dry brushing at all with this. This is just various tints of acrylic hobby paint. Now are you spraying those on or brushing those on? I brush on the paint. Yeah, just a brush and, and uh, uh, Vallejo acrylic mm -hmm. hobby paint and water. And so then I will stick on some tall thing, you know, like a like a bush, and I start with the tallest, and then I fill in around it with uh, like uh, shorter grass and uh, weeds and additional gravel if I want to, and, you know, because what I I don't want to put the the short grass on first, and then pr try and put tall grass on top of that. I want the tall things to be there and then I can fill it around it. And so that's what this is. This is a, uh, from Michael's, it's a dried uh, plant flower arranging product. I can't remember the name of it. But sometimes they come in really weird colors, you know, like pink or violet or something, <laughs> or turquoise. And so what I do is I just sprayed it with, uh, with uh, matte uh, enamel testers you know, dark green or something like that. I think it's called candy tuft or something like that. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. But from a distance, you know, it, it's... Uh, yeah, they look like little leaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. And that's what you want to look for. Something that will work in, in scale. Yeah. So. Now this is a typical... I did a typical patch of grass. Yeah, you can hand these around. They're indestructible. And remember I was telling about the, trying to make a variety of colors and, and uh, textures? Uh, this is, and, uh, and it's okay, you know, to let some uh, bare ground show through also. Even if you're doing like a landing field for an aircraft, you know, there's going to be little patches of dirt here and there. Especially the war one. Yeah. And the dirt's interesting. I mean, it looks, <laughs> it really makes it... One time I went, to, I went walking in the woods and, uh, and I looked carefully at the ground and I saw all these pebbles, for one thing. You have all this variety of wild plants. But you also have lots of pebbles that go from bone white to jet black, and then all the different browns and gray colors in between, all this little, you know. Now the eye, when you look at it, you, you interpret it as, a, as a, you kind of put everything together, and it reads like a, like a natural earth. You know. And... Uh, but it's all right to have all of these. I mean, that's what I want to do. I want to get a variety of colors and, and heights of uh, weeds and grasses and things like this. This is different color flocking and also some tall grass. The tall grass is this this product here. And they uh, this company uh, defines them by millimeters. So the tallest that they make is, uh, is uh, six millimeters. Tall. Maybe I can show you how to glue that down too. Yeah. This is snow, and I don't know why. This is a few years old now, and it's kind of turning yellow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Avoid yellow snow. That's probably because I used to live at the beach. <laughs> yeah.
Okay. The next thing Was that about... snow dull coating? What's that? Did he dull coat on that snow? No. Oh. The next thing is that uh, I want to make sure that I attach these things so that they're not going to come off. And a long time ago, they would tell you, well, you use Elmer's glue, and you thin it with water, and you brush it on, and then you sprinkle your uh, static brass on there, and then you blow on it, and, and it stands up. Yeah. But then, if you go to paint it, well, I mean, the dirt also is, uh, you'll find out, <laughs> uh, white glue is not waterproof. It is uh, water soluble. And so now I want to add all these different uh, acrylic colors thin, thinned with water, and I get mud on my brush. Because I don't care if you let it sit for a month, that Elmer's glue is going to dissolve as soon as I touch it with water. So, <clears throat> What they do, and uh, the model railroaders have been doing it for a long time. Instead of using white glue, they use a uh, acrylic matte medium. And Liquitex is probably the largest company that makes uh, acrylic products, you know, for artists. And they make a, a matte medium, and uh, when it dries. It's water resistant. I mean, if you kept at it, if you really worked at it, you might be able to get a little water in there. But generally, once you glue the dirt down with, uh, with the acrylic medium, it's like plastic. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, and so you, then you can start putting color, uh, you know, water-based colors on it, and you're not going to have a problem. Yep. Straight from the bottle, or do you, uh, or you can dilute it. Now, when um, that's a great lead-in to the next part, <laughs> because it is important. If you read the label, they'll say that um, if you can thin it with water, but if you use more than 25% uh, water, uh, it will not dry clear. When it dries. It just disappears. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable. But if you do thin it too much, and it's easy to thin it too much because it sticks really well, and uh, but um, it will. You can get little white. They're, uh, they're kind of like white sparks, you know, in a dark area or something, and uh, they look opaque white, like little flecks of. Mm -hmm. of of, uh, white, and that's what you want to avoid. So, and it's rather thick. When I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a minute, it's rather thick from the bottle. So, uh, I do usually thin it. The other thing, this, this is the matte medium. This is gloss medium. So, if I want to do things like, uh, I, I like to use this with to make snow, because. Depending on the ratio of snow to uh, medium, you can uh, make it look like a slush or ice. It's kind of grayish and a little bit transparent. Uh, or uh, like cold, dry snow, you know, if it's mostly snow and things like that. This is another thing that, that goes along with it. This is called uh, matte gel medium. You can also get glossy gel medium that you can use for water effects, but it only it can't be more than like an eighth of an inch thick. You know? But it's it looks like paste, you know? and it's uh, like a as thick as uh, cold cream. Is so, the only difference between those two products the fact that that is a much thicker product than, than the yes, other? identical mm -hmm. uh, chemically, I guess yeah. identical, but. Uh, the reason I have this is, uh, and I'm sure I, I've got time to show you, uh, when I want to do a patch of tall grass or a tall clump of weeds, I'll just put a drop of this on it, and then I can stick it on there and remove my fingers and it's not going to fall down. 
the, the coolest. And it just, it literally, it just disappears it's, if you do it right. It's really amazing. But sometimes if you get your glue too watery, uh, the, the grass uh, will, it'll kind of draw the, the medium upwards and and you can start, and like the, the base of the leaves start sticking together and stuff. 